Hey, it's Molly. Today on Frosted, I'm gonna be making a hummingbird cake. It's a delicious cake full of tropical flavor, covered in cream cheese frosting and topped with beautiful homemade pineapple flowers. This is a really simple cake to make. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients. We've got flour, salt, baking soda, and some cinnamon. Just give this a nice whisk. Incorporate all of your dry ingredients well. Evenly distribute the leavener. So we have our sugar in our bowl. We're adding oil and vanilla. Get this going in the mixer. And you want this to beat for about two to three minutes until it gets nice and sort of airy in texture. After a few minutes, crack your eggs one at a time and let each one incorporate before you add the next. Let this beat for another three minutes and while it's beating, we'll work on the rest of our ingredients. This is where all the flavor of this cake comes in. We've got some mashed bananas and to that we're gonna add some chopped walnuts and you can use any nut you want. Pecans are a great choice. Got some shredded sweetened coconut. And then we have some crushed pineapple that we've drained, because we don't want any more liquid in this. You want to make sure that your bananas are really ripe and speckled. The more speckles, the more fructose, the sweeter your bananas are going to be, and the more flavor they're going to give you. This looks great, nice and light. We're going to add to that all of our wet ingredients. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients a little bit at a time. Keep this on low so you don't have any flour flying in your face. And that's it, that's your cake batter. So I've got two nine inch cake pans. You butter, parchment, butter and flour them so that there's no sticking. And divide your cake batter evenly between the two pans. You can eyeball this or weigh it. It's a really nice and thick batter. It's really not a lot of work for a lot of reward. So it's loose enough that you can just kind of shake it to even it around. And while these are baking, we're gonna make our beautiful homemade pineapple flowers. As if this cake wasn't great enough on its own, we're gonna be topping it with some beautiful homemade pineapple flowers. They are just the most gorgeous thing and not hard to make and I'm gonna show you how to do them. Start with a pineapple and trim your bottom and your top. I find it's easier to work with half a pineapple at a time. So I'll put this away for now. And then go around the edges and you want a really sharp knife for this, otherwise it's gonna pull at the pineapple and you won't have nice edges. Don't worry about these little eyes, we're gonna take care of those in just a moment. All you wanna do here is keep the shape. So now you turn it on its side and cut very thin slices, no more than a quarter inch thick. And what you're gonna do one at a time with a melon baller or a little cookie scoop or spoon is kind of pull out some of the eyes here on the side. And don't worry too much about what it looks like now because as it dries, it'll shrivel up and we'll shape them to look like flowers. So when you're done, put them on a silicone baking sheet and bake them low and slow until they look like this. Beautiful, natural looking, and exactly like a flower. Got a really simple cream cheese frosting. Cream your cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is really room temperature, otherwise you're gonna get some lumps and it'll be challenging to frost. We're gonna add some room temperature butter and give that a whirl. And then add your vanilla. And now we're gonna add our powdered sugar. There's quite a bit here because there's quite a lot of cake. And you wanna do this just a little bit at a time. This powdered sugar has already been sifted, so make sure you do that. We want a really creamy, smooth frosting here. Once it's slightly incorporated, turn it up for a few seconds just to kind of aerate it and get it nice and fluffy. 
and that's it. That's our frosting. If your frosting is a little soft, you can definitely put this in the fridge for a little while, but this feels right to me, so we're just gonna go for it. Okay, so we're about to just assemble this cake right onto the cake stand. It's slightly domed, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my offset serrated and just trim this layer. Obviously, save it for a snack. I love a cake that you get a snack out of. Oh, this is so beautiful. You can see the coconut, the nuts, the pineapple. It smells like banana. It's just gorgeous. So we're just gonna dollop some frosting right onto the cake. What a nice layer. It's just a two layer cake, so you wanna have a nice substantial frosting layer in between them. And then just use your offset spatula to even it out. We're not gonna trim the top because it's actually kind of nice to have a domed cake sometimes. Press it down slightly, make sure it's secure, and then use the rest of your frosting to cover this cake. Cream cheese frosting is so complimentary to this cake. It's nice and tangy and it kind of offsets the sweetness of this cake. Everybody loves cream cheese frosting, except monsters. I like to first go around and cover the whole cake before I start to get fancy with the swooping. Just work on getting an even coating all around the sides. So we've used up all of our frosting here, and then you can just take your offset and kind of do some swoopy swoops, as I call them, just to kind of give it a little texture. But we're covering this in beautiful flowers, so you can leave it any way you'd like. So when they come out of the oven, they're gonna be like this, nice and flat. And because they're still a little warm, you're gonna just kind of pinch them and stick them in an empty egg carton just so that they can hold their shape and let them sit there until they're cool. Now just have a little fun. Stick them in wherever you'd like. I'm gonna keep them close to the center. Just press them in slightly. They're so beautiful. I always like a garnish that reveals what's inside. Okay guys, here you have it, our beautiful hummingbird cake. It is gorgeous, inside and out, certain to attract both people and hummingbirds alike.